Jennifer Williams. And you are? Cyrus. Cyrus Harry. You used to call me Cy if it's, if it's really you. I, I'm trying to find the Jennifer Williams I knew 23 years ago. We spent a long weekend at the Jersey Shore. She was visiting a friend. That's it from Lansdale. Pack it up. Let's move on to Philly. Uh, Seriously, you gonna uh, complain? How many limo drivers are making six figures? Cy, you're my little cousin and I love you. And you've been more than generous. I'm upset because you are wasting your time for some faded memory. I'm not better, but you're kicking me out. Which is why it'll only be 20 minutes. See, the Dean of Medicine acts stuff, but she's not really. She'll step in, readmit you. So you're saying that she cares more about his treatment than the doctor is actually treating him? Phil, shut up. Cyrus. Jennifer. It's good to see you. I read about you in the paper, so I hopped the first train from Virginia. So you read that he struck it rich? He's right. It, it must look weird. It kind of is weird. We're a long way from the Third Street jetty. I just wanted to see you again and say hi. So, hi. Hi. I was starting to think I'd never find my baby bear. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I don't even feel nauseous. Just, I don't know shaking. why. shaking, okay. You're having a focal seizure. What does that mean? It means you're not getting discharged. <laughs> I'm afraid we'll need you to step out when the EEG begins. The waiting area is just down the hall. I gotta catch an early train in the morning anyway. No, don't. I'll put you up in a nice hotel or Aren't you a furnished place? I came for the night because I wanted to see how you were. Or maybe get back in your life a bit. But if I take your money... What's wrong with a nice place to stay? Unless, of course, you don't want to stay. I guess I could keep my motel room another night or two. We are giving you more cancer. The risks of that are kind of obvious. We'll scan you, run your blood at frequent intervals. We believe this is our best chance at finding the underlying genetic flaw. <clears throat> Will you marry me? <gasps> Don't be stupid. If this cancer overwhelms me, at least I'll die happy here and now, instead of hoping for a future I may never have. I love you. No, you don't. You don't know. You can't know. We both need more time. And I believe we're gonna have it. <laughs> 